If you want to tap into silence, you will need to be still. The stillness, it's mainly, it's the gate to the silence. Because you see, if there is a gate, and you're constantly in motion to look for this gate, you probably will never find it. Because it is here, and you're going all over the world. I heard there is gate. Where is the gate? Let's find the gate. And then you fly, and you dive into the ocean, and you move... It's here. You just need to be still to see what's in front of you. When we move, often we don't see what's in front of us. And when you are in stillness, then you start to experience the silence. But stillness, it's not only, I mean, there is the stillness of physical, of the body that we all definitely need in our culture. The reason why people moving so much and they are not still is because there is so much noise inside that drive them nuts that it's just keep moving them. But you can get to a place that you're actually experiencing stillness in motion. And it's very, very powerful because people think stillness is just to be eight hours a day without moving. No, that's death. Wait until you die, you will get there. I never impress when people tell me they sit eight hours a day. For what? This is life. This is all about dynamic. You move. But if you sit half an hour or an hour a day, you start to get familiar with inner stillness. How it feels. What is its sense. And when you get familiar with it, you start to take it into the motion. As you move, there is stillness there. You don't react. You don't judge. You just move in stillness. So if you keep moving in stillness, you will constantly experience the silence. So the stillness is just the manner to get into the silence. If you constantly in motion, you make noise. But even the absolute stillness cannot be defined like the mind defined it, that you will be like a rock and you will never move. Everything actually becomes state of consciousness. It's, it's uh, the qualities of state of consciousness. It's not the physical. But we start with the physical because tell a restless person, okay, just move to now stillness, state of consciousness. What? So in yoga, we start with the body. It's the easiest. You say, okay, this is your body. You can relate to it right now. It's the easiest things to relate. Sit still. Oh. It's hard because it's itchy here and my legs are falling asleep. Okay, try. Just for a moment, sit still. Okay, so it's easiest for them to still something so close. Then we go to the breath. Because if the body is still, the breath is still taking off on its own. <laughs> because my mind going fast. Try to still your breath right now. It's easier. It's, it's here. I can hear it. It's easy to deal with it than to still my consciousness. What consciousness? So we starting with the most obvious and we start to still more subtle things until we meet the state of consciousness. Now, if you master the state of consciousness, you are master. You understand? Because... The state of consciousness, it's the essence of everything. Everything you see around is just a different form of the collective ultimate consciousness. What is it? I can't tell you. If I'll tell you it's an intelligence, we just put it right now into a file and we give a definition. It is what it is and you experience it. So we want silence or stillness in terms of state of consciousness. Now, the thing is, when you experience it, you know it. And often people say, how do you know? This is where we call realization or enlightenment. It's when you are experiencing this state of ultimate consciousness. People say, how do you know you get there? When you are experiencing it, all questions will disappear. There, is, there are no more questions because there is an experience that fulfilling everything. And it doesn't mean that when I am tapping into it and experiencing that I can hold it forever. It doesn't come with insurance company. I may lose it in a moment. But if you tap to it, and I, you all tap to it, if you tap to it, you already know how it feels. 
So there is this memory. At least you know there is a place there that it's beyond the noise. And some people, they keep wanting together, so they put off effort of practice, etc., together. Some people think, oh, that was trippy. <laughs> I dreamt. But that's, you know, that's that you get in. Don't fall into the illusion that it's like in a station that you don't have to, you have to keep this state of consciousness. You have to dwell in it. And as you practice, you learn how to dwell there a little bit longer, a little bit longer, and then you lose it. You lose it into your own uh, noise, into your own, um, you know, um, reacting. And you're so disappointed of yourself. Don't waste your time to be disappointed. Oh, I don't believe. I went through it. Don't. It's not easy to stay in this ultimate consciousness all the time. But now you know, okay, Faster I will get back to this state. I'll cut off all the nonsense and here I am there. That's the practice actually that we do in the high level of spirituality until you become it. And nobody can tell you how it is or how it feels. If you will be in a present of a person that is in this state, you will recognize something different. But you will still interpret this in your own language. You understand? So it's still not it but you will sense he is very different. He's moving very different. The, the energy is very different. You just right now um, enjoying the resonance of this consciousness through this person. That's it. <laughs>